<laughs> Not since Kim Kardashian got divorced have I been so busy, busy, busy. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. We welcome the one and only Naughty But Nice Rob Shooter. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday. I'm so excited you're here because now I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I think that was the plan. Have the day off. Put your feet up, love. Thank you. Thank you know, you. I sent a text to uh, Rob yesterday. I was yeah. in the car and I went, oh, you know what? After everything that happened at the Oscars, Ooh. there's so much going on. Let me just check in with Rob. And I said, Rob, when can you come on? And he was si- <laughs> there was silence. <laughs> and then I said, how about tomorrow? <laughs> and then he says, yes, love, I'll yes. be right there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a very busy couple of days for me. At least one person's doing quite well out of this terrible situation. You. Me. <laughs> Not since Kim Kardashian got divorced have I been so busy, busy, busy. Wow. Okay, so let's let's break it down. We all know the story. Yeah. We don't have to really rehash everything that happened at the Academy Awards uh, ceremony the other night with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday, uh, Will Smith... His people, they, and that's how they do it in Hollywood. That's how they do it. They released a very late but needed apology. Yeah, I think all day they were trying to get to Will to say something. And I think initially Will thought this would blow over. He didn't think it was such a big idea. A big, big deal. He went out to the parties. He seemed to have a good night. I would guess he got up a little later. He he won an Oscar. He might have had a, a drink or two. <laughs> and so I think he got up and he realised this is getting really bad. And that's when you put out a statement. And so later in the day, almost 24 hours afterwards, there was a statement apologising finally to Chris Rock. He had apologised the night of the Oscars, but he didn't actually apologise to Chris. That came later in the day after the Oscar hmm. people met to discuss what they were going to do. Now, Rob, you just said something. You th- you think you were assuming that Will Smith thought it just blew over? How do you stand up in the middle of a globally broadcasted uh, telecast, whatever, go up to a stage in front of everyone, slap the snot out of someone, yeah. and think it's going to no. blow over? Right. Right. Yeah. It's really cute. Right. No, no, I, I'm getting to something. Yes. Is that the way... People think they are in Hollywood and at that elevated level of I've fame. I've worked for a lot of celebrities and been around them who think sometimes the rules don't apply to them. And somebody who's willing to get up in front of millions of people, this was done on television. It wasn't done in a bar. Will was aware the cameras were there. So somebody who thinks they can get up, slap somebody, and then sit back down and carry on the evening obviously doesn't think the way we do. And so then after that, to go out partying, uh, to not sort of think there's many consequences, and to Will's defence here, there wasn't. He got a standing ovation. Uh, my insiders at the Vanity Fair party told me he got a, a round of applause what when he walked hell? into Vanity Fair. So, so, so people all, wanted to compartmentalise the yes. issue of slapping wow. versus the issue that he did deservedly win Yes, the Oscar Absolutely. for his film. I feel like they could have given him the Oscar and not let him do his speech. Right, right. like something. Give it, do right. something. Right, you know? or he could have decided that too. Like I was, um, I was getting texts all night from people in the room, and they said there was emergency meetings at every every commercial. His PR person was running out talking to him. There was even talks at ABC about escorting him out of the show. Like he nearly got kicked out. Of the show. We all knew he was going to win. And so that moment was going to be very awkward. They were rewriting his speech. And so I think he thought this was going to be okay. And the pendulum has swung. Initially, a lot of people Mm -hmm. were saying he was defending his wife. And there was some real support for for him. At least in the room, he got a standing ovation at Vanity Fair. And then the pendulum swung as the day went on. And this often happens in celebrity dramas. It takes a moment for everybody to realise what's really happening. And then I think we realise this is unacceptable. You cannot do this. And now Will has a real chance of, of, of even losing that Oscar. And for you to go to parties really? afterwards and think wow. that you deserve people to applaud you. Like at that point, you take your award and you go home and you go, you know well, what, I really need to think about. He didn't. I mean, Chris Rock <laughs> didn't, didn't go out and party with cameras no. all over the place. But I heard he was planning on going home the entire time. He was. He actually went right? to Guy Osiris' party, which is Madonna's manager. And that's a really private party. There's yeah. no cameras there. And so I think he went there to just sort of like calm down and figure out what was going on. I don't know. I, I, you don't go to a party to calm down. No. No. But you know, I, I will say that it, again, it, it's there's so many moving parts to this story. We're all we're talking about insulting a woman because of a condition that yep. she's living with. Then we're talking about someone who didn't he 
claims he didn't know that she was right, right, right. she was uh, she had alopecia yeah. and, and so I, I don't know sorting it out is an interesting thing so what's next is the question yeah what's next is big 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 so now ABC are looking for for some sort of solution here the Oscars are looking for some sort of solution today they're going to discuss what should happen what should be the consequences of this they certainly don't want anybody going to a future show not feeling safe and that's something that is very important to yeah. us all right. and so there has to be a consequence there has to be a consequence and mm -hmm. we don't know quite what that is he could be asked to give the oscar back he could be asked to leave the academy wow. he might not be at next year's show he's realized now that this is a big deal and we'll see we'll see what happens wow. it's going to happen this week just turning us on our friend rob shooter our my brother rob shooter is here mm. to talk about it we've got other things to talk about too but we're continuing on this for a second i know gandhi had a thought Yes. Oh, well, I just want to know from you, Rob, how do you think this is going to change the scope of shows in general and comedy in general? Do you think that there's going to be security? Are people going to be treading more lightly? Like this, I think, really raised a red flag to a lot of people. Yeah, it really did. And I think comedians at the moment are, are, are really worried about this. And a lot of them are, are standing up for, for Chris Rock. This is something that if you feel like you're going to get slapped in the face by saying something that's cheeky, that's even wrong, then that's going to change everything. And let's remember, this show started with almost a roast. I thought Amy was brilliant at the top of the show, but she's definitely made fun. You know, she made fun of Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. his girlfriends, their age. Is that <laughs> something that we can't do? <laughs> it's funny. It was funny. And so I think comedians are outraged by this. And um, what, what really makes me worried is what happens now, not for these big stars. They earn millions of dollars. They're sitting there in gorgeous clothes. They have security. What happens if you're a comedian at a small comedy club right. and you say something that somebody doesn't like? Is some guy in the audience going to try and be the next Will Smith and get up and slap you? Uh -huh. It's it's dangerous. We, yeah. should, we should definitely uh, make sure that there are consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there has to I be. I mean, yeah. you, you, there have to, you have to be held accountable for doing things like that. we got to take a break. Uh, more with Naughty But Nice, <laughs> Rob Shooter on the way. We were just talking about this with Rob Shooter about, you know, and we're not going to name any names, but we all, you know, in this business, we mm -hmm. interview people, we hear stories. Yeah. And there are some people who, when the camera is on and when the mic is on, they are gold. Yeah. Yep. And then camera off, F you. <laughs> Yeah. And I know I'm like shoot I'm like saying how about this person how about that person yeah, you, and I'm like no Rob don't tell I me know, that don't tell me it's that it's such a cliche isn't it because I don't want people to think that in order to be successful you have to be terrible I think that's such a, a bad message to give out unfortunately <laughs> there are a few people that have been successful just because of their sheer <sighs> determination it takes a certain type of person I think to be that that successful in the show business era mm. hopefully maybe it's in your own life too if you think of people in your office often the person in charge is not the kindest or even the most talented and there you go wow. Wow. speaking of here comes nate oh god hey. Hi, nate, <laughs> nate uh, we're talking about how people in this industry uh, go sour and so and you walk through the door oh. <laughs> That describes me to a T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool question then. Yes. How do these rude, obnoxious people continue to surpass the level and make it to the where they where they money. get money? Yeah. They make money for companies, and they have people that depend on them that make money from them. Yes. And so, yeah. Yeah. and it's sort of like that closed bubble. If it happens in your life, if you think your circle's getting a little bit too closed, and friends don't tell you the truth, open up your life, go out, meet new people, and then you'll realize who you really are. It's right. almost like a yes. mirror on yourself. Isn't it? I love meeting people for the for the first time because they're not used to how ridiculous I am and so, <laughs> so their reaction. Well, I will tell you. I will tell you. I'll, I'll I'll let you behind the curtain and you know going out with Rob Shooter Oof. just to have dinner or just to a party, it's. A lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a German Shepherd. It's a trapeze. We we put on a show. And, and, and you, your your jaw muscles hurt, uh, not because of whatever you're thinking. Your, your jaw muscles hurt because you laugh so hard. And oh, that's you have, good. Oh, that's you have, good. You, Thank you. You have such a beautiful heart. Now, Gandhi had a thought here. What's that, Gandhi? How much of it is genuine news, and how much of it is planted by publicists and things that they want us to hear? You hope for a slow news day if you're a celebrity publicist, because you can put out a release, you can create create some drama. I would think at the moment, what Will is praying for is for Kim and Pete to get married. Like we need to change, we need to change these subjects. And it happens. Like there's so many people out there, particularly the reality stars who who crave this. That maybe Will can sort of ride this out. It, it might it might change pretty quickly. I remember there was a story. 
uh, on in September of 2001, where there was a politician in Washington D.C. and I can't remember her names, and one of his assistants or interns had disappeared. Oh, yes, and it he, was like Gary Condit, and he yeah he yep. was thought to be involved. And then when 9/11 happened, it pushed his story to the very back of the paper. Yep, yep. and so, Gary Condit and uh, so, Sandra Levy. So keep in mind when you see big stories on the cover, go to the back page and see yeah. <laughs> see what's back there. Um, yes. Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah, what are you writing here, Scary? I mean, we need, Rob, explain to everyone why this absolutely was not a setup. Oh, it's it, was not, it was not. Yeah, a everyone, thing. Yeah, and it drives me crazy. There, no, no one would, if there was a setup going on with this, that means someone right. someone uh, comes out doing better. Yes. Other right. than ticket sales for Chris Rock shows, right. <laughs> nothing good is coming out yeah, of this. Yeah, nothing's good. I think the reason people think this is a setup is it's so shocking. Right. We can't imagine that this actually happened. And so I think it feels like it was, it was in a movie script. It was in a bad movie. It was not a setup. Although the people in the control room, when, when, when he got up and walked on that stage... Even they thought it might have been some sort of setup that they were not involved in, but it became very clear very quickly it was not. Chris was really shook up backstage. This is a guy who is solid. He very rarely gets rattled. And so he was shook up. And then I think when, 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 a, when a channel has to cut to black, when a channel has to censor people, you know there's trouble. They don't want to do this. It was definitely right. not a setup. And it's something we were talking about on uh, during the, so the song was... Had all of these people been out at a club and Will Smith went up to Chris Rock in a club, mm -hmm. said F you, this and that, slapped him and walked away, how different the story would have oh, been of versus yeah. in the middle of an Oscars telecast yeah, in front exactly. of everyone. So, I mean, it, the, the staging has everything to do with it. Thank you so much for coming in today. <laughs> hey, to talk I about love it. coming love in. It's a lot to break down and happy birthday. Thank I'm sorry you, it wasn't a stripper and you got me, <laughs> oh. but there you yeah, go. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> still <laughs> strip, Rob. I, I, one, one last thought about the uh, Will Smith yes. uh, situation and, uh, of course, Chris Rock. Uh, Hollywood uh, loves a meltdown. They do. Without doubt. They do. But Hollywood also loves a comeback. That's right. If these two get together, I predict we're going to see these two together. Maybe it'll be having dinner, maybe walking through the park, and there might even be a photographer mm, in the bushes. Uh, oh, and I think if that happens, we want these to be friends. And we do. We want them to make up, kiss and make up. And, and then if they they'll do host that, the Oscars together next year. Boom. Great idea. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. But, but always, always keep in mind, you know, we're all so fascinated with people who are celebrities and you think you know them and you don't you don't you know and they are living uh on a on a different plane yep. where it's not reality you know right. it's you know they have people yesing them to death around them at all times and and so you know the fact that will smith could do what he did at that award ceremony and then just went out and partied all night i mean at any moment was he asking himself hey what did i do this is I think he I did, know. but it took longer for him to get to it than us. When mm. we do something really bad, I hope we know pretty fast. I think Will has got to that point today, and that's why we got the apology. And I think moving forward, they're going to make this right. I, I hope, hope so. I hope so. Because you know what? He is very talented. Very. And he, in my opinion, he deserved that Oscar. Well, he did the yeah. work. He did. Yeah. Right. did the work. Rob, we love you. Thank you hey, for coming in. Happy birthday. Lovely to love see you. you all. Always follow Rob Shooter. <laughs> Naughty but nice. And and boom. Oh, yeah. And buy his book. What's his book called? What's the book called? The Forward Answer. The Forward Answer. Thank you very much. Forward. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? All right. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.